It says it's recording. Now, you know, this is Laughter Talks. And before I introduce you, I always like to share my foils. So everybody, this lovely lady, my friend and actress, Cammie Middleton, is having deja vu. You see, we, we just went through this whole show. And usually, you know, Cammie, that's why when I leave, I just click it right out, not being rude, but you have to do that to capture your recording. <laughs> it wasn't there. But thank you for coming back. And every, Yes. This is great. I've been on your show three times. This is awesome. <laughs> yes. and, and now we have a record for doing two the same day. So we're going to go through this again. We can do this. Okay. Now, Cammie Middleton is an actress and a sister. And before I introduce you, I always like to share my foils. So everybody, this lovely lady, my friend and actress, Cammie Middleton, is having deja vu. You <laughs> see, we just went through this whole show. And usually, you know, Cammy, that's why when I leave, I just click it right out, not being rude, but you have to do that to capture your recording. <laughs> it wasn't there. It, it just, did you ever have that freeze? Yes, yes, okay. it, it happens. Yeah, it does. But thank you for coming back. And every, yeah. this is great. I've been on your show three times. This is awesome. <laughs> yes. For Double Cross, the um, All Nighter, a blood, sweat, and glitter. So you've done a lot of stuff. <laughs> hello, hello in there. <laughs> well, that's is this thing very, on. Is this thing on? Very yeah. talented, and you do a lot of things. It's it's hard to keep track, but um, you also I do like to let everybody know that you were Officer Baker in the races. That's right, in the races. I was Officer and I loved working with you. And I have to say, you're very professional, okay. and you were a sexy cop, Cammy. I really I like that. You gotta bring some sexy in there, right? Uh, yeah, and you know what? You really played it perfectly. I meant to tell you that. If I haven't, I really, you really captured it. You, I did believe you were a cop. You were. I had so much fun with that. That was so great. I can't wait for the next production. Yeah, so now we were just talking about Double Cross, which is what Double you Cross. are now involved in. And this yes. is a web series. It is uh, a webisodes. streaming web series, yes. Yes, and we want you to share with us because I would like to know, would like to know their character, how all this came to be, what okay. stage it's in. So you take the ball again. And all right, Double Cross. You know, it's really funny. It was a random audition. I sent in an audition for Miss Audrey and um, they loved it, um, and they hired me. It is um, the whole season. There are six shows in the whole season, and I'm in five different episodes That's amazing. Show, which is great, which is great. I play a very amazing. complex character. Um, she is um, not nice and bitter and um, um, visceral, and you can tell that she once was a nice person, but life has really treated her a certain way that now... Yeah. That's all that she can see. And she takes it out on the world around her. So she's yeah. not pleasant. Um, yeah. And she um, she's very harsh all the time. She has nothing nice to yeah. say ever. And she's fun. She's fun, fun, fun to play. Because she's not me, of course. So <laughs> well, because you're <laughs> so, so wonderful and, and an amazing woman. And, and I have seen your reel, which is on your website, which is cammymiddleton.com. Correct. Yes. And uh, we want everybody to go up and see that. Yes. Because we get, I've, it's like, oh my God, is that Cammy? You're such a tremendous actor. I really love to immerse myself in every character and see what that means. I mean, I'm not here to be pretty. I'm here to do the work. And I think if you just go from there, doing the good work, um, your soul comes out. And yeah. no matter how beautiful you are, that character, even if they're downtrodden, that character shines and so that's what i really try to do no matter what it is so yeah well you do you kind of have to dig down which is what i love about actors um i realized when i got into directing and expanding my work i don't perceive it as you're really acting what happens is you are tapping into your own emotions through this character that becomes the part of you well, let me just tell you um when i was shooting miss audrey for double cross um and i um i would come home after a long day of just really hard work. And I remember my daughter came into my bedroom and she goes, mama, are you okay? And I go, listen, I've been crying and screaming all day. I just need a place to finish. Because when you're on set, 
you have to continue the emotion, but the action around you does not finish. The director will say, cut, there's a technical issue, we have to change the lighting, do the scene over, and here you are in the middle of your emotions, and yeah. you have to be- They're in um, there. Be in there, and then you have to stop them, and then, okay, turn back on again, go. And so you can, you can do that, I think. For me, I can, but at the end of the day, I needed a place to crawl into a corner and finish that cry and finish those feelings and finish that emotion and then put that character someplace else so that I can't get on to the rest of my day. And so I remember my daughter being like, mom, are you okay? I'm like, oh, listen, I'll give me a brownie and throw me a Diet Coke. I'll be all right. You know, just a little something, but I'll just give me that moment. Yeah. Well, I understand art. Yeah. That's yeah. like you. And, and, and that's why I think, um, this is so hard, but it's such good work. That's why I, like, I tried to deny this work for so long, but my soul kept saying, hello, hello, I need to do this. Yeah. And it needs to get out. And so that was- Did you I start did. this later in life, Cammie? No, actor? I have been acting since I was about five. Oh, um, wow. But I put it um, aside for about 20 years and had a family and did some other things. I just didn't have the time for it. When my kids became of age and I could say, okay, great, go and you can, you know, do your own thing, I allowed myself to go, great, let me go ahead and get back into this. And then when I did, I said, okay, great. I need to find a place now because I can't do this part-time. Yeah, I have to do this full-time. So and me, you're a wonderful the biggest trans transition was to make that transition to say, this is what you're going to really invest in yourself with. I'm it's glad you did because you made a really good choice. I mean, it's amazing. It's now, I know. Choice, yeah. Pardon me? It's a hard choice, but good. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, it's a commitment. It's something that you just can't say no to. And uh, so I know we, we spoke before, but I would like you to, because you, you're, you finished shooting, yes. but we were just, what we, what we want to share with everyone with the way things are going now, you were explaining how, how the set is now when you're working on set now. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you explain that again, Cammie? Absolutely. So um, my family and I, we've been on lockdown, uh, uh, obeying the law, stay at home and stay safe in, in LA since uh, March 9th or so, maybe not too much, 9th to 12th. That's when yeah. it started for us. It's been a while. And it's been a while, but yeah. in that, I've done um, quite a lot of work here at home. I do voiceovers at home in my own studio. I've been working on video games, doing a lot of voiceovers, mm -hmm. uh, voiceover for that. I even did a voiceover for a pilot in my uh, living room in my um audio studio which is great too but i did shoot a commercial last week and two industrial films in that the industrial films for example i went to the studio and i was the only actor on set mm -hmm. okay. um the the uh, the uh, producers and um, everyone else was maybe six to eight feet behind me behind all the equipment they had cameras around me in a radius of like six cameras around me being where the people would be seated during our wow. conversation they had the teleprompters away. And I was kind of like in this like um, clinical little pod, if you were, kind of sealed off, but um, everyone was away from me and completely like wrapped up. And I felt really safe. And, and I was the only one not wearing a mask. Um, I was the only one talking, but I was the only one on set. Mm -hmm. When I finished and they escorted me to my car, the next actor was brought into set and he sat in the next place where the cameras would be. So they really are just kind of setting those things up. And I think there's more planning that's involved now. Not that Hollywood wasn't planning before you have yeah. to plan. Course, yeah, it's a little bit different now. And in a way it's really better because not everybody was aware of the necessity for, you know, some space and especially the handling of food and everything. Uh, oh, it is, it's so easy to transfer germs. So I think it's made people more aware to be a little bit uh, just in everyday life because you know what? I was raised, you wash your hands before you eat, you have to go to the bathroom. Absolutely. So the, and this is something maybe not all people were aware of the necessity for it. So it'll be a good thing. I think so too. And I felt really safe in that environment. I also was able to um, enjoy myself because I wasn't, um, I wasn't in fear. I was able to just do my work and be happy with my craft. And that's what we need to hear, you know, yeah. so thank you for sharing that because, oh, yeah. you know, I've been in my little pod here, so I haven't had an opportunity to be outside of this yet. So right. I was wondering, well, when I do another production, you know, what's the best way to do it? So this is very helpful to me. One on yeah, one, yeah. I like that. Absolutely. Now, again, let us know the different venues that people can watch this new series. This is so okay. important. The series is Double Cross. Double Cross. It is a UMC TV original, and UMC stands for Urban Movie Channel. 
And if you go to www.umc.tv on your computer or smartphone, okay. you can watch the shows. There are three episodes that are up right now. There's six for the whole season. Every Thursday, a new episode is released. It's also on Comcast, Fire Stick, Apple TV, Hulu, which has it on a day delay. They always okay. delay their television shows delay. Um, Prime and um, Roku. Okay. okay. So lots of venues, phone, streaming, internet, uh, computer, laptop, get it. Get it and go. Very, this is wonderful. And I, as I had this, I do have permission to uh, share yes. that with us because there's a trailer. So I'm going to go on there. I'll send a trailer and send that to you yeah. and enjoy. It's a hot and steamy trailer. So, Ooh. You know what? I'll probably put it right in here. So we'll go. We'll take a break and it's watch it now. Dr. Cross, you're more beautiful than I ever imagined. Yeah. I don't like playing God. You're in the wrong line of business, baby girl. Claire! The streets will be safer with him behind bars. And you are? His twin sister. One's a doctor and one's a drug pushing criminal. Oh, I wasn't even ready. For what? For all of that. What do we have? A 12 year old girl found beat. And whoever did this to her needs to be gutted with a dull knife. He was part of that sex trafficking ring that's going down right in our neighborhood. I'm in this with you. You boss up. There's this whole other dark side to you. I've killed two men in a 24-hour period. I'm from the same hood as him. I am not letting you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's where it went in. And I okay. know I'm going to love it because I have seen some of it. Mm -hmm. And... Um, now, is there anything else you'd like to share about what you're well, up to? Uh, or? Gosh, um, what do I have going on? I am doing, a f I have two films in production. As soon as we're out of lockdown, I will start filming on that. Um, I'm also working on another video game. Um, yeah. I've completed two video voiceovers. So if you um, play a lot of video games and you hear voice, I'm an English woman, perhaps, that would be me. Um, <laughs> or a young whippersnapper, that would be me. You never know where I'm going to turn up. So I've been doing uh, voiceovers, I've been doing films, I've been doing commercials, anything wow. I can get my hands on. But more importantly, I'm taking after you. I've written oh. a short film, Very and good. I am going through it now and trying to decimate each scene and figure out my budget and location, and I'm in the pre-production yeah. planning. So I'm very excited. Yes. I saw you, and I saw your joie de vivre, and I went, yes! I'm as hard as her, and go. Well, you know, thank you for that compliment. I love it because you're you're naming the most important element in filmmaking, really anything, and that's organization. And when you do that, it helps you become because you do everything. That where you're shooting this is so important. Every prop, every costume, and that's together. Yeah. And so and, that's what I'm yeah. working on now is that planning and trying to make sure that okay, do I have the budget for this scene and what's that going to yeah. be about and. So I'm excited. So yeah. You know, well, Can congratulations. Can you tell us the name of it or you're not ready to do that yet? Um, I'm not ready to do that okay. yet, but it's um, a Western. You know, a lot of people are liking Westerns. I think that's a great idea. Um, Good I'm proud of you. You keep that up because you know why? You can create the best projects and we all have our individual experiences and gifts and talents to bring to a movie that will be completely unique. Yes. And to keep doing that, it's important, especially with all the things going on. Yeah. For a woman with a voice, use it. That's my motto for everyone. Well, Cammy, I thank you. Thank and I'm you gonna for having put, me. Oh, thank you again. And thank you so much for doing this twice. <laughs> now, I'm okay. You have to get them both, yeah. Well, I'm going to say... Um, a goodbye now. I love you. Yeah. I'll see you soon. I love you soon. I can't wait to see the show and okay. talk about the cooking show. We have so yes. much to talk about. I'm yes, so that's excited. another thing. You're a great cook. We were talking about that before, and we want to do a cooking show and yeah. surprise visits with Zoom too. I didn't. I would love that. that. Surprise me in my kitchen one day. Yeah. Did you oh, notice yeah. that? We're like we're really flowing into each other. This we couldn't have planned this any better. Look at that. Beautiful. You're, you're, well, I think you did plan it. You are the director. Well, yes, finally, somebody. You know, that's, <laughs> Cammie, you hit on why I really love actors. They're the only ones who will listen to me. <laughs> We're the ones that need to listen to you. Yes. You get it. Yes, I love it. I love it. And thank you again. Thank and you. so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to end recording. Okay. So it's okay. It's safe so that you don't have to go through this again.
it's okay. But you know what? The laughter, I needed more laughter. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Well, everyone, that's the end of another Laughter Talk show. I want to thank Tammy so much for being a good sport and doing that twice. Technology is what it is. In the meantime, everyone stay safe, stay healthy, subscribe, and support the immune system. Take care. See you next time. Bye.